Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a while because to me it seems like I'm being very repetitive because if I like something, I've probably already shown it to you, but I do have a few things here that I haven't shown to you. So if you have heard about it already, it's because I really do love it and I've been using these consistently throughout July, so I wanted to share them with you. If you like favorites videos, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up to let me know to do more of them and if you want to see what I've been loving this month then just keep watching okay so I'm going to start off with a few skincare products I haven't shared a lot of skincare with you guys I want to do a full skincare routine video if you want to see that then let me know so the first product is a sugar scrub and I don't know if you guys know this about me but I have a very weird skin I have an eczema prone skin so I tend to get a lot of dry patches on my legs and other areas of my body and the only thing that really helps is exfoliating and then using a really good lotion so my favorite body scrub has been this sugar crush by soap and glory and oh my god the reason I love this so much is the smell of it it has brown sugar sweet lime almond oil and macadamia grains in it a lot of the times you guys can find soap and glory for buy one get one 50% off and I have the body wash of this and the lotion of this as well, and that's what I normally do. But I think next time I'm just going to get two of these for buy one, get one. And I think they're $15, and it's definitely worth it. Mine is half gone, and I've been using it for like five months now and I just use it when I need to I don't use it every single time I shower it is a pretty gritty product it has some big grit in there so it really exfoliates really well and takes away that dead skin now my next favorite has to do with something that we all deal with I know that some of us are very lucky and some of us are very good at Photoshop but for the rest of us we have to deal with cellulite so in my case I have cellulite pretty bad on the back of my thighs and the sides and a little bit on my butt so what I've been using for my lotion that is supposed to reduce cellulite and it definitely reduces the appearance I don't know if it really takes it away but I've been using this Brazilian bum bum cream and this is by Sol de Janeiro I don't know if I'm saying that right but you can find this in Sephora this stuff is just a miracle worker but again with the smell this product smells so good I would buy it just for the smell even if it didn't work it does work it has a very light shimmer to it and to me that distracts from the appearance of cellulite but this is also a very thick and moisturizing cream so it works well with my eczema sometimes I do get eczema on my legs and this definitely helps because it's so thick and moisturizing and I definitely put this on the areas of my body that I'm self-conscious about like I will put it on the insides of my arms because I have this like weird texture right here and then I have the cellulite so those areas I put this on and it just gives you a very fine shimmer and it also is supposed to be working behind the scenes to kind of tone your skin and tighten it up they do sell it in a smaller size if you want to try it out first before you commit to this it is quite expensive but to me it's worth it and the smell of it alone you guys have to go try it and smell it for yourself along with that sugar scrub because if you love scents you're going to love both of them this one is more of like a vanilla sweet type of scent it's kind of undescribable though it's not like overwhelmingly sweet it's kind of like cocoa butter and vanilla and suntan lotion all had a baby and this is just the perfect summer product now I mostly have problems with chapped lips in the winter so I really love this product in the winter but as of recently I've been fighting some dry skin on my bottom lip and this is the product that cures this for me it takes away all of my dry lips and I use this overnight this is by glam glow and this is called their pout mud wet lip balm treatment I know that they do sell a lip exfoliator so I might have to try that out in combination with this I think that would be amazing but this is just the most hydrating lip balm that I own. I put this on before I go to sleep and it stays on my lips all night long. It kind of works like Aquaphor would work for other dry skin. It stays on very long. This smells like peppermint. I love the scent of this and so does my boyfriend. If you guys are struggling with chapped lips, I highly recommend trying this out. I know that there are some chapsticks and treatments in the drugstore, but I have had absolutely no luck even with my medicated stuff it just doesn't work on me so this has really been my savior for my lips and then I have been trying out the Estee Edit 
cocoa balm, but this is very, very expensive. I mean, this is expensive, but it lasts forever. This is expensive, and I do really like it, but I can't really tell you if it's a favorite yet because I just started trying it out. So yeah, definitely check out the Glam Glow one. So the last skincare item that I have to share with you is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the most beautiful smelling spray and it's very hydrating. I love using this after I moisturize my face before I go to sleep. It just gives me that extra hydration and it just makes my skin feel really good and it smells really good. And also if your makeup gets cakey or it's a little bit too matte throughout the day, I will use this and it will just bring my skin back to life and give me some dewy hydration. This is just a really great product all around and it's very affordable so I highly recommend checking it out. Moving on to makeup, I have a few makeup items that I have just been loving throughout the month of July. So in the beginning of July before my lips kind of got this dry area on them, I had been wearing liquid lipstick every single time I do my makeup and a majority of the time I was wearing this color. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Stripped. So here it is swatched on my hand. As you can see, it's just the perfect rosy pink nude color. Very muted and it just suits my skin tone perfectly. I love it so much. And this actually looks very similar to what I'm wearing on my lips today. So I will share that with you guys in case you were wondering. This is from a new ColourPop order that I just made. And this is an ultra satin lip and this is in the shade Magic Wand. So this is the color that's on my lips. I actually want to swatch it next to the Anastasia one and see if it is similar. So here is Magic Wand. It's just a little bit darker than the Anastasia one, but I love them both. So if you are looking for that perfect pinky nude color, definitely check out either one of these. I love them both so much. So another favorite I have is from that ColourPop order that I just made. So this is a very premature favorite. I just got it in the very end of July, but I can tell you right now it's going to be worn out throughout the month of August and definitely worn a lot in the fall. So this is an eyeshadow from ColourPop and this is in the shade Telepathy and I believe that is from the Kathleen Lights collection. And I can't even describe how much I love this color. This is just a beautiful olive, gold, vibrant eyeshadow. I can't even describe it. It's just so beautiful. As you can see, it's just so reflective and beautiful. I love this color. I actually have been quite into creating eye looks on my hand. I know that sounds weird, but the other day I created one with some glitter from Michaels and it was in this olive color. And then I received my ColourPop order and I realized I must be really drawn to this color because this is very close to that glitter that I used. And now I can create that look on my eye, which is what I tried to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this color on my hand so you guys can see it. So here it is on my fingertip. Very, very vibrant when applied with your fingers definitely that's the only way I can apply it and have it come out very vibrant and there it is swatched on my hand it's just so beautiful my next favorite is from cover FX I'm sure you guys have seen these all over YouTube but I had to jump on the bandwagon and purchase one of these this is their custom enhancer drops and mine is in the shade moonlight and this is just the most beautiful intense liquid highlight I have ever seen in my life I have swatched all of them in Sephora they are all so beautiful but moonlight and sunlight were my favorite unfortunately sunlight was sold out these are just so gorgeous and they really speak for themselves so if you do see these in store they are quite pricey so try them out on your arm you'll probably fall in love just like I did and the best way to apply these is very quickly with your fingertips and then blend it out with a beauty blender I use this method in my summer get ready with me if you guys want to see these in action they're very very, very beautiful and I'm just going to swatch them really quick so you guys can see what I mean okay so I put way too much on my hand but you guys will just see how crazy is that swatch I mean it really just speaks for itself so next up is the highlighter that I am wearing today I have talked about this before in my dupes video this is the Beverly Hills highlighter from Ofra cosmetics Mine is getting kind of dirty because I have been swirling them all together. But today I just used two of the shades, these two right here, and I just applied them to my face with my e.l.f. small stippling brush. And this is one of my favorite combinations that I've tried out of this highlighter. And there's just so much versatility in this. And I'm really happy that they came out with this because I think this will be my only highlighter that I take with me on my cruise next month. Because 
really this is so many combinations all in one and it's all that I will need so I had to share it with you guys and then my last favorite is actually nail polish I've been showing these on my snapchat and my Instagram and you guys have been loving them and asking me so many questions about them so these are two holographic nail polishes and these are by paintedpolish.com go ahead and check them out these are made by a girl named Lexi she is so talented and so amazing these are ultra holographic I have a blue one and I have a pink one the blue one is the one that I wore on my fingernails and then the pink one I wore on my toenails the blue one is sweet and serene and then the pink one is radiant and rosy and these are both ultra holographic I have no idea how she creates such amazing products but when you're out in the sun, you get the rainbow range of color and it's just so glittery and majestic. So I love this in July. I'm definitely going to be wearing another one of her colors on my cruise. And I just had to shout out her brand because she's so talented. And you guys, if you love nail polish, you will not be disappointed. This is something very different. I had never tried a holographic nail polish before this. I didn't even know that they were out there in existence. I don't really think that you can find a holographic nail polish in store. Let me know if you can, but I will leave her information down below if you guys are interested in these. So that is it for my July favorites. I hope that you guys enjoy this type of video and seeing what I've been loving for the past month. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to keep doing favorites videos and I will do that for you guys. If you guys want to stay current with me while I'm on vacation and see what I'm up to, be sure to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be updating you guys over there and sharing my vacation with all of you. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single week, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.